full lock. It's, it's white. Yeah. Turning circle is white. Okay. Power, you cannot expect a lot of power. It's a 1.9 diesel, but it has enough push after the initial build up of boost. It has enough push. So, for those of you who want a pickup truck for daily use, I think this is okay. I think it's okay. But if you want it for proper, proper use where you are someone who actually needs a pickup truck, it's not proven yet. It's new to the market. Peugeot isn't a brand best known for absolute uh, crazy durability and reliability even though they no longer have uh, crazy reliability issues like 10 years ago their cars now are alright you don't hear huge complaints of their reliability but these type of cars are cars that need to be abused and you should feel comfortable knowing that it came from a brand from a place where people abuse their cars so probably these guys know what they're doing and hence Peugeot say can I have that car and rebrand it into mine yeah so the era of Asian car makers rebranding European cars or uh, technology transfer and all that sort of has officially ended I would say now it's the European smaller car makers that needs the help of Asian car makers and get their platform to be rebranded and to sell using the brand that they have built up all right it's a motorcycle coming I'll let the motorcycle pass first and I do a full lock and I go full throttle no response and then response comes and then I'm done wow. yeah. I can't expect a pickup truck to have really coherent uh, absolute pairing of drivetrain and engine and handling and all that no pickup trucks are different but in no way this one drives as nice as a Ranger or a Triton but it's not bad not bad trying to be pretty but when you look at the details yeah yeah it's there is a little feeling of proton of those days whereby they design a good looking interior and then when you go up close it's not that super nicely fitted but solid nevertheless all protons don't feel solid this one feels solid everything is hard hard nothing moves nothing moves you hear a little bit of sound but nothing moves I bet you can go into a C class and you put your hand there you press you get more sound out of that than this Ah, this one is ah, very reminiscent of the of the current saga. You know, everything is hard plastic, but you try to shake them, nothing moves. It's solid. Yeah, it feels like the saga. Proton should rebrand this. <laughs> okay, let's do the walk around later. So, 150 odd horsepower, small pickup engine, diesel, has enough torque to move things, move you around. Um, the question is the question is obvious the Japanese are kings in pickup segment all right Hilux you know uh, Triton D max and then of course for, from Euro Europe oh power seats okay not a lot of adjustability that's it Okay, I can shift up. Oh, there's lumbar. Okay, 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 not bad. 
power seats. Both sides. Both sides are power seats. That's nice. I mean, this type of cars needs to be... Oh, the brakes are not bad. The brakes are not bad. Hmm. Sitting position is good as well. The headrest is comfy. Steering wheel is nice to hold. Engine is loud, but it's a pickup. It's a diesel. I accept that. It's alright. It's alright. USB ports are out here. I'll go through the interior later, sorry. Dude. You know what? I think this engine, right, actually spools up a little bit faster than the D-Max one. Both are 1.9. This one definitely spools up a little bit faster, even though both are considered slow. But yeah, that one has more lag. That one lags more. Okay, let's go to my favorite spot and do a walk around of the Peugeot Land Track pickup trucks, a segment that the French people don't buy. It's, I don't think this car is available in Europe. I do not think so. If it does, then it's my fault because the Europeans don't buy pickups. They buy wagons. Ah. Ooh, not bad. Okay, the graphics of the car rendering is, is, is funny, but the resolution is good. And the lines, the uh, semi-transparent steering lines are way better than any reverse cameras of this. Oh, this can, can go really high of this segment. Oh, there's a spot button. Hmm, I wonder what, that's, what that does. Press this. Home screen, that's the home screen. You have your navigation. What navigation does it use? Oh, Peugeot. So it boots out of that system and it boots in into another system when I press navigation. If not, this logo wouldn't have come up. No maps available. So if it is a, then why is it out here? Um, Bluetooth mute, customize. Okay phones and all that. This has nothing to do with the standard Peugeot infotainment system, alright? This is a sort of like a standalone radio, music, uh, I did not press map, I press options, okay? There's only video, Bluetooth music, customize, and nothing else nothing else so this one does none of the in-car stuff all right this is actually just a basic system to connect your music your radio and navigation if, if, it, if it has it oh yeah you have vehicle settings over here i'm sorry my bad my bad Ooh, proper Ooh. You can do the door unlock, automatic door unlock, and all that lighting settings. Ooh, guide me home lighting. Mmm, not bad, not bad. Aircon settings, automatic ventilation, air conditioning, self drying, restore factory. Oh, there's only very little stuffs to do here. So that's vehicle settings. You have mirroring. You have Android Auto. You have Apple CarPlay. System settings. System says system is this thing. This system. Right, you have a sports or classic or technology. Okay, classic. Does it need time to load? It needs a little bit time to load. 
this looks in terms of responsiveness it's not bad but in terms of processing it needs some time okay but granted the graphics are decent everything is decent uh, okay let's look around the car okay I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but this green is absolutely beautiful this is some type of metallic olive green kind of color it's very nice to look at especially when the Sun shines on it okay in terms of design you can tell that this one is actually a standard sort of pickup looking truck and then they tarted it up with a little bit of stuff to make it peugeot -y. they added this thing over here all right they added this so that it sort of create that tooth kind of thing that peugeot has and then the peugeot grill the big peugeot logo up front and then uh, stylistically i think they did a decent job it's not as daring as most of peugeot's uh, current design but hey you've never seen this type of color on a pickup truck and i've never seen a larger door handle than this this is huge this is the size of my palm and the door handles are huge Oh, these, bo these babies are huge okay the bed is big this is a big car this is a big pickup truck I think the bed is larger than that of the Mazda BT50 it's called the Land Track okay the reverse camera is over here these are chrome oh my god okay there's no strings or dampers to sort of hold it in its place and it's just one piece of really heavy pickup is is heavy it's heavy this thing is heavy okay what does it say i have no idea but it's big it's really wide i see a 12 volt socket over there i see some hooking points these are hook points over here All right these are some hook points interesting they're made of I see it's not it's not super well well as, assembled I'm not sure if I feel secure securing things to something that is not secured look at this part this one this one also it it moves around and this is this is plastic instead of metal it kind of felt like if I want to I can I can break it but so it's not for super heavy duty is for you to you know basically put a net over hold some stuff and all that all right so take note of that these are nice claddings to protect the metal and your stuff there's a very beautiful looking roof rail up here it feels solid the whole car shakes with it the the thing on top doesn't even move one bit it doesn't even jiggle one bit so I think this is very well secured up here these are the rear doors they look all right I really like this part it's comfortable for passengers there are no uh, molding molding points molding lines over here that okay. this is not super sharp all right usually that's where they hide the molding lines behind okay you can put some bottles over here going in and out you have this I can climb in all right ingress is easy enough close the door seat belts are adjustable this plastic feels really cheap it doesn't feel like that assuring click okay you have a little hook point over here it can hold four kilograms that is a lot that is a lot for what is a small hook yep see the whole seat moving and this thing doesn't even budge so it certainly can hold 4 kg get an armrest two little holes for cups small cups the leather is all right it's, it's uh, not super duper high quality this part is certainly PVC This feels nicer than this. Okay, but it's alright. 
This is my vantage point as the rear passenger. I'm sitting taller than the front passenger. Okay, visibility is good. Dome lights, bright enough. Okay, nothing much at the back. You get a pocket, you get aircon vents. Ooh, gloss black here, classy. You get a USB port, a little slot over here. Um, this is not super high, so sitting three abreast is totally okay. I still want to say this, pickup truck makers, can you provide a space that we can hide at least a backpack in our cars? That would make pickups truly usable. Okay, I see this and this. It means these seats supposedly can be lifted up. Oh yes, not bad. So you can lift it up and hook it to, I presume, should be the headrest. I can't reach the headrest. So where do I hook this? Oh yes, I can hook it on the headrest. Yes, got it. So I got the seats up, so you can load more things inside here. But there are no hidden compartments like how the the brilliant Peugeot 3008 5008 does. So I presume I see I see a little hook over there as well. So you can lift this up as well to load stuffs, which is pretty good. Up here, this is the door panel of the front passenger. You have a door bottle holder, full length door bin. Pretty good for what it is. Hard plastics everywhere, hard plastics everywhere. And it's the type where your knuckle hurts, okay? So you get the mirrors, all the settings over here, lean keep assist and all that. You get a cup holder over here, you get card holders over here, aircon, and then, ooh, chrome. It's a juxtapose, you know, this car. You get all some of the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto stuff, you get powered seats, and then you still have this 1993 fuel cap lever. Pretty interesting. Chang'an. Yep. This car is from China. Okay. It's made, like, made by Chang'an. And Peugeot actually gotten a pickup from Chang'an. Okay. I thought there's some safety features that prevented me from starting just now. Okay, so the, all the aircon controls are out here, the buttons are here, door lock and unlock, ESC, heel descent assist, the hazard lights, and then the locking of the differential, electronic instead of a lever, a volume control, blank buttons, activating the camera, the camera is pretty high res, very high resolution. And then look at the graphics. It's well made. Except this this little pickup here, you know. I mean it's universal, so they put a blank color. Okay. As for the steering wheel, you have the volume controls over here. Can can I do anything? Okay, status, brightness, up and down, pretty straightforward, speed. Nothing much. Okay, all the trip stuff over there. Answering your phones. The steering wheel is nice. It's nice to hold. Okay, and um, wait, let me move the aircon vents over. This is for your cruise control. And then this is to answer phone calls or voice control. And then here you have 2H, 4H, push, low, and all that. And uh, oh, oh. And then here is a little compartment. It's not super deep. Cup holders, handbrake lever. Cool. It's been been a while since we last saw this logo. <laughs> right. Yep. What else? Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. So they they mold it this way. And mounted it on it so that it fits this this interior. Now the interior design is decidedly Peugeot-y. Oh, the cup holder is up there. 
whereas my cup holder is here, down here, you know, interesting. Yup, so, I mean, I spotted all this gaps, and then this thing that jiggles, and this thing, you know, and then this, it's alright, it's not crazy, it's not like Tata, you know, that was scary, the gaps and all that, but it's... It's alright, I would say. Peugeot's, I mean, if you go into their, their 3008s and all that, they also reveal a lot of gaps in their plastic cladding, okay? These are comfortable enough. So, 123,000, it should be one of the more affordable ones, and then it's loaded with features, but then the question backs, okay? It is a pickup, and people want... Uh, absolute reliability and trustworthy and all that oh there's no mirrors here there's a mirror over here no lights over here but you get these which is all right okay so this is the land track and then this is sort of like the adaptive thingy thinga majinga all right dual zone climate pretty rare and um, these are okay clear um, fonts are uh, all right, all right, all right. It looks like a B segment font type dash situation. No, even B segments are, are really classy nowadays. All right, yep, this is the Peugeot Land Track. Cheers. So I just pressed the spot button. <laughs> Will it do anything sporty? Sorry, sir. Not much of a difference, except it drags the gears. Play buggy pass, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, the engine is loud. It's a small 1.9 liter, it is loud. Hello. <sighs> Typical pickups. All right. Oh. I mean, it still bumps lah. The rear when it go, go over this kind of speed bumps. Oh. Bumps and jiggles a bit. Okay. It's still a pickup at the end of the day, and I think it will be very difficult for. Peugeot to convince people to buy this car, even though it's packed with, you know, quite a bit of features. It's gonna be a tough sell. Oh my god! Okay, I just discovered another thing. The lines are not accurate. It's not accurate. Uh, from, the, from the graphics, it's showing me that I... I can clear this car, even though I felt like I couldn't, but I tried to follow the lines, and true enough, I couldn't. So, it's not the most... Oh, that's smart. That is clever. When I got really near, it, it rendered a top-down view for me to look closer. It's a crop view of this. That is, that is pretty good. Okay, there we go. The gear lever also feels very nice. Out of nowhere, the gear lever and the steering wheel is wrapped in proper leather that is of a different quality than the rest of the touch points. So at least these two things that you most commonly touch 
is of a more pleasant, touchy experience. Alright.